Aquarius, welcome to your general forecast for March. This is Mary. This is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Aquarius, we're going to take a look at the energy around you at this time. Could be love, could be general, could be anything. We're just going to take it as it comes and see what we get for you. So please only take what resonates. If it's not fitting for you, then please don't try to make it fit. That is probably not your energy this time. Could be past, present, or future energy so we'll see what's going on with you around this time so welcome everybody hope everybody's doing well so let's see what's going on with Aquarius at this time and I do say at this time I do consider all my readings timeless so if you'd like to go back and watch past readings links below in the description box for your love and general playlist along with the decks I'm using social media links how to reach out for personal reading if you'd like to tip donate or send a gift all that info is below in the description as well as the pin top comment and also another way to tip or donate if you're not comfortable using PayPal is during the premiere. If you happen to be watching this during the premiere, Super Chat is open if you'd like to tip or donate that way. And if you do, thank you. So Aquarius, let's see, this is a Zodiac Oracle, so we get a sign, element, or planet. Let's see what comes out for you. If you don't resonate with what comes out here, totally fine. So Aquarius spirit, please, what do we have for Aquarius at this time, please? Thank you so much. One card for Aquarius, that one. We have Pluto, which I believe is Scorpio. So you could have a Scorpio around you in some way, shape or form, or maybe you have Scorpio in your chart, maybe it's your rising sign or something like that, or your ascending sign or your north node or something like that. But um, wow, and this is crazy. I just had this come out for uh, different cards, but I just did uh, Taurus. And they had two cards that came out back to back, 11 and 22. And now you have, you are Aquarius are 11 and Pluto is 22. <laughs> that is just crazy. That is crazy. If you're dealing with a Taurus, maybe you may want to watch that. It was totally different cards, but still those numbers came out. So that's just crazy. So Pluto is the energy of life, death, rebirth, birth, sex, power, control, kind of all those like basic, basic human um, conditions of life. So we'll see how that plays into your reading, Aquarius. So with this deck here, first thing I'll do is get an opening message for you. And then I'll pull another card for your energy, see what your energy is like. We'll clarify that with the tarot. And then whatever your situation comes out, we'll look at that situation. We'll look at the advice possible outcome and then we'll pull some extra messages with this oracle here so let's see Aquarius what is going on for you at this time oh come on cards are being stubborn let me shuffle thank you <clears throat> okay what is Aquarius's opening message spirit please thank you so much for Aquarius opening message for oh there we go so we have into the unknown and then we have seven. Seven is a very spiritual, divinely guided number. You may be uh, being spiritually led in some way or divinely led to go in a whole new direction that is unknown to you for some reason. It's like you're going blindfolded. It's like, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm being called to do this kind of energy. Hmm. All right. So let's see what your energy is like. Or maybe this is telling you, since this is your opening message, that maybe there is something, even though you don't know anything about it, or if you're being called or led to go in a different direction or some kind of um, possibility or something comes up for you. Um, I can't think of the word I want to use. Um, for you to go in a new direction, but you're like, well, I don't know anything about that. Maybe it's divinely guided for you, even though you know nothing about it. So, all right. So let's see. Let's see what your energy. Oh, there we go. So we have solitude, which is 13, which is four, which is about stability and foundation and the basis solitude so i want to read a little bit about <clears throat> into the unknown just to see if there's a message in there for you 
Number seven. Trust and all will be revealed. So that's kind of like the fool card. Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times you're required to trust that this new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into the unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable treasures. So, <coughs> sorry. So, it's like the fool card. <clears throat> definitely there so but we have solitude here so maybe you've been like a hermit <laughs> kind of reminds me of the hermit card kind of you know being being alone spending time alone not really participating in anything kind of energy so let's see what the message uh, is here for you I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul so so maybe some of you are going either have been solo alone for a long time or now you're going uh, solo now. Okay. So maybe you could be detaching from something be and becoming uh, independent and solo. Meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of su superfluous thoughts. And allow stillness to flow through your whole being. This is not an advent advantageous time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it's a period uh, for a conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you, you replenish your energy by means of much needed rest and time out. All right, so it's about needing to take a time out. But I got different messages of solitude. I feel like maybe some of you have been in solitude for a long time. <coughs> Sorry. And you need to venture now into the unknown of not being in that energy. Or some of you may be going solo. I'm sorry. My throat is getting very <coughs> closed up. I had the flu two weeks ago, and I just can't seem to shake this cough. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have 29 here, coming to life, which is 11. And 11 is about being divinely guided, being on the right path. <coughs> Sorry. Ooh. So coming to life here. So it could be, I'm getting now, some of you may have been living a life of solitude. And now you're coming to life and going like on a whole new journey, journey into the unknown. Like now taking control, like having your rebirth with that Pluto energy, taking control of your life, going into a whole new direction. <coughs> wow. Don't know why I can't shake this cough, so sorry about that. All right, so let's clarify for you Aquarius. So I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal reading, tipped, donated, sent a gift. Thank you for all your support. It really does mean a lot to me. So thank you, thank you. And in honor of just reaching 10,000 subscribers, which I couldn't have done it without you guys, I'm having a free uh, giveaway. You can win a tarot deck and a free 20-minute reading of your choice by me. Check the description box below along with a top pinned comment to get all the details on how to enter that. So if you do, thank you and good luck to you. And also you could check the community tab on my channel. I've also made a post there about the giveaway also. All right. Well, it's just way too many. All right, Aquarius. So what is all this energy about for you? Aquarius spirit, please. The solitude. And we got the five of wands. So it's conflict or competition. It could be inner conflict, conflict around you of some kind death so that's ending of something ending something here ending some sort of conflict okay so let's let's get more here tower there's the conflict conflict on top of conflict 
Wow. So the tower can be can be a conflict or it can be an epiphany, an aha moment, a realization, something crumbling down, a surprise. But on top of the conflict there, I think something like happened that was shocking and there was some sort of conflict. Maybe, maybe this is past energy for some of you. You know, maybe there was some sort of conflict in your life and it could have been with a partner. It could have been anything which caused you to go into solitude. Like to go into a solitary energy. But now I feel like with death here, you're ready to come out of that solitude energy. Maybe you've been living alone for up to seven years and you're like, you know what? <clears throat> it's time to venture out again. It's time to come to life again into the unknown. All right, so let's get more energy here. So we have the Page of Cups and the High Priestess. So this could be apologies. So, you know, maybe there was mending the mending this energy here, you know, loving conversation. Well, maybe not loving, but... <laughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. Maybe it was just like peaceful conversations, um, apologies, and that kind of energy. But here's, again, the high priestess is the energy of being secretive. Being in that solitude energy, being secretive and, you know, not really sharing much, listening to your gut and your intuition. So let's get one more. One more for you, uh, Aquarius. I almost said Aries. Well, the tower is Aries, so maybe some of you have dealt with an Aries before the world. So, yeah, closing out chapters, starting new chapters, as with the death card. Ending something. Ending a chapter totally knowing it was the best thing to do so maybe you could have even ended friendships or a long-term commitment relationship or something here because there was uh, maybe a big explosive fight argument or something here and you know maybe there was a peaceful resolution or you know peaceful conversation and apologies but you knew exactly the right thing to do you listened to your gut and your intuition Maybe you didn't tell many people about it, but you ended that chapter. You ended it. You know, you healed, you transformed while you were in sol uh, solitude. You just closed out that chapter. You healed from it. But now you're ready to start a new chapter. I feel like, you know, this may, to, may have taken you a long time to heal from. I'm getting, it could be seven months, maybe seven years for some of you. But you're ready to venture out. You see, she's ready to venture you're ready to venture out and away from all this energy because you got the death and, and this lady in the world going in a whole new direction. Yes, this past energy, there was apologies or whatever there was, but I feel like that's behind you now. It's behind you now. Now you're ready to come to life, a whole new life, a whole new world, a whole new chapter. You've transformed out of that past, I feel like it was past energy. <clears throat> As you see, we have the tower here. And we sort of have like a tower here. So some big tower moment, tower explosive thing happened that uh, caused something to break apart. I feel maybe in the past. All right. So let's take a look at your actual situation. Scorpio. Scorpio. Oh, my God. Aquarius. I don't even know. <laughs> well, sometimes the tower is Scorpio, too. So it could be Aries or Scorpio. So we have Ten of Cups here. You're ready now for a whole new life, a whole new life filled with joy, happiness, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. Happy couple here. Maybe now you're ready to have a real, a real relationship and start a family. What else here for Aquarius? Eight of Pentacles. Yep, yeah, you want to work on it. Or this could be about work. You know, some of you, maybe you're ready to start a whole new career change. You know, go and work on something new. Or now you're ready to really work on having a true blue family. All right, so what else here? Strength. Yeah, you're feeling strong and positive now. It's right in the middle of your spread. Feeling courageous and brave to venture out in this whole new world into the unknown. You know, coming to life. Feeling, you know, strong, passionate, and brave. All right, so what else for Aquarius? Yeah, and there's the Fool. Yeah, and I had said the Unknown card reminded me of the Fool. 
So there you are, ready to take a whole new leap of faith, a whole new leap on life. <clears throat> so what else here for the moon? Yeah, you may be a little scared, though, because you can't see the path in the way clearly. It, you know, the unknown here into the unknown. You can't really see everything clearly with the moon energy. So sometimes that is like wearing a blindfold. So, yeah, you you know, but you'll become enlightened. You'll become aware, listening to your gut and your intuition. You have deep feelings about this, thoughts about this, about ready to go on a whole new journey with the full energy, trusting that this time, I feel like you're trusting this time, you're really going to work at finding the one that you can really sell, settle down with and start a family. So with coming to, coming to life, like new life, like a family, you know, children, giving new life. Wow, okay. So let's see what the advice, sometimes the page of cups there can indicate children, even though I know that's up there with the conflict. I feel like that's more of like, just like a peaceful conversation with apologies but you, you left that behind you left all that energy behind in the past all right so let's see what the possible advice is for you in this situation aquarius spirit please thank you so much the cards are just getting messy all right let's stop here wow the ace of wands so there's your fiery passionate new beginning it's passion you got passion and love here with the ten of cups and then, yeah, you, you want to find your soulmate, your lover, that you can settle down with. Have a fiery, passionate, loving, exciting connection. Your feels like your soulmate. And uh, start a family. It's what you really, really want to work on now in your life. It's like you're ready. You're ready now. All right. So what else here? Queen, yeah, you're feeling strong, stable, secure, confident independent you can take care of yourself you're making your money you know you're very independent in your own right but we have the bunny here which to me speaks of like fertility children kind of energy so you're definitely ready to start that family yeah and you're ready to get committed and married wow <laughs> <coughs> wow so your advice is to exactly have your fiery, passionate new beginning with your soulmate. You're ready for a family. You're stable. You're grounded, secure, independent, and abundant to marriage or commitment of some kind. Wow. Well, that spirit just spit it out right there. So that's the advice. Wow. Okay. So let's see the outcome. Well, we got the nine of wands. So that's the wounded warrior. You know, maybe you've, you've been through it there in the past. That's that past energy. You've been through the ringer, feeling beat up and not literally, hopefully not, but you know, you feel like you've been through it here, the nine of wands, which you transformed out of that. I think that past energy gave you mental blockage about moving on in the future to find a true soulmate person to start a family with. So maybe you still have a little bit of mental blockages about that and why you feel so maybe defeated at times, but you know, you know, you've been through it, but you're still not ready to give up yet. Even though sometimes you still have mental blockages about it. Thoughts, you think back of the past. But you can get out of that at any time. That Eight of Swords. What else here for you, Aquarius? One more. Wow. Stress, worry, fear, anxiety. So, holy smoke. So, I mean, your advice is to go after your, you know, find your soulmate. To have this passionate new beginning. To start that family that you want commitment marriage or whatever here the outcome is you still <laughs> being kind you got eight and nine so you got eight to the nine but yeah son so there's your happiness joy success victory happy home and family with the children here enlightenment healing energy and now we got the king of wands so we got the king of wands and the queen of pentacles so I feel like we don't have a ma matching couple, but that doesn't mean anything. You still could be soulmate. You're coming out as a king and a queen. So um, <clears throat> I feel like you will meet a person here, the very fiery, passionate, determined energy that will be your soulmate or twin flame here. May not be the same sign, but that's totally fine. So this is your total, total happiness and joy with the Ten of Cups most positive card in the deck 
along with the Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. So even though you still have fear, stress, or anxiety, maybe stuck in your head, feeling like maybe you, you can't do it, but you will you will have this for you coming in for you with the sun energy. And you will meet somebody who will be very fiery and passionate and determined kind of energy. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we do have the Seven of Cups, which is still that like daydreaming, maybe daydreaming about a family, meeting your soulmate, what it'd be like to be with somebody real this time, but still having confusion kind of energy. But here's, you know, keep working at it with the Three of Pentacles, manifesting this brand new beginning for yourself. You will get justice in your life, will come in for you, balance of the scales. And there's your truth, the clarity of the matter. This is your successful new beginning, uh, cutting away things no longer serving you, open, honest, truthful communication, enlightenment. So now, now we have another king here. So you may actually have uh, more than one option and you may be juggling around <clears throat> two people here. You may meet two soulmates. Well, we got the king and queen of pentacles here. So you definitely will have one true blue soulmate. And then I feel like you will have another one that will be very fiery and passionate. And you may be undecided which one to choose here with the Two of Pentacles energy. But ultimately, it'll be up to you. You're going to have to dig down and really think here which one you want and which one you're going to walk away from. Which one is your happiness and your wish trunk cut true? That is a past life soulmate, twin flame energy that, will, that you will have children with for the long term. So... I think you'll end up having more than one option. And maybe that's the stress, fear, worry, anxiety here. Not knowing which one to choose. So ultimately it's going to be up to you. We do have soulmate here, past lives, twin flame possibly, wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. But you're going to have to really think hard which one is for you, which one do you walk away from. I think you'll be juggling around <laughs> a king of wands and a king of pentacles having to, to decide which one you want for your successful new beginning. Which one brings you balance, justice, to manifest this brand new beginning, to work with here, uh, and feeling a little confused about the options here. So I feel like after living a life of like solitude, now you're going to have many options for you, Aquarius. Wow. Wow, Aquarius. So let's get some extra messages for you with this deck, Aquarius. I do ask Aquarius if you're new. And you like my style and how I read, um, you can check out my channel. If you like what you see, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You won't miss out on any readings. You get five readings a month. Two love, two general, and a bonus. So let's see what we have for Aquarius. Some extra messages for Aquarius spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, that one wanted to fly. Stop. Yeah, you're going to have to stop here. 34 at 7 again. <clears throat> I think you're going to have to stop and take a minute. And look at your options and decide ultimately which one you want commitment with to have a family with which one is your will bring you the balance the justice the happy home and family the stability all right so let's get a couple more for aquarius please thank you so much talk to god 11 so 11 is half of the twin flame number so you could be dealing with a soulmate and a twin flame Wow. Ultimately, you're going to have to to pray, meditate, or whatever here to try to figure this out. <laughs> wow. You're going to have to stop and take a minute and talk to God and pray, meditate, or whatever here, or really think and contemplate about this. All right. So let's get a few more. So say thank you for, for 40, which is four, which is about your foundation basis stability so there may be one you'll be saying thank you for bringing justice in my life and one that you may be saying thank you but no thank you and i'm sorry is what i'm getting with that so don't forget to say thank you no matter what the circumstance is okay we got two here so we got be courageous which is eight which is strength so being strong courageous and brave no matter what and spread the light, which is 59, which is 14, which is 5, again, about change. 
So it's just shining your light, you know, be, being positive, being positive as you uh, journey out here. And I feel like you have many options coming in for you. So we got see the light and spread the light. Wow. 33, which is about, you know, working together, teamwork, collaboration. And you kind of see like the two soulmate twin flames here, like just floating around here. So, and we got double number 33. So I definitely feel like <laughs> you could be dealing here after leaving something bad uh, behind from the past. And now finally, after being in solitude for quite a long time, <clears throat> now wanting to settle down, have a family, you're going to have a few options here. And who will you decide? A soulmate or a twin flame, possibly? Wow, Aquarius. Okay, in Aquarius, you are number 11. <clears throat> and over here, we have 11. So 11, 11. Okay, Aquarius, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.